We're at Caravan Salon 2020. This is my mate Andy, who knows a little bit about 12 volt stuff. Stuff, and he may explain some of it right now. Well, we're going to talk about lithium batteries because although the hall has got about half as many exhibitors as it normally has, uh, there are about 10, 20 times more people selling lithium batteries than there usually are. I reckon probably half the people in here are selling lithium batteries. And that's great because lithium batteries are fantastic, as I know, because I've had one in my motorhome for five years. Yeah, and very. And so have you. You've yes, had I've one. Yes, lithium batteries. Changed your life, hasn't Absolutely it? Absolutely changed my life. Fantastic. Changed my life. So this company here is just called Liontron, and they make fantastic batteries. They're so good that they have a coffee making machine. They're not allowed to actually <laughs> give cups away which is boring, but they can do it. They can make coffee from batteries, which is brilliant. And this is a line battery. And this is actually unusual because you can actually see inside it, they're opening it up. And you can see the whole thing. And you can see that we have cells here, which are the lithium cells. And then this thing here, you'll find in every decent lithium battery. And it's the BMS, the Battery Management System. This tells the cells what's going on, it charges them in the correct way, it makes sure they don't get overcharged or undercharged or overvolted or undervolted. This is essential in lithium battery. And a good one, or the BMS will make the difference to a large extent between a good lithium battery and a bad lithium battery. And a bad lithium battery, well, no, if I say a not so good lithium battery, we'll have will be restricted in terms of the energy it can actually give you. So if you were running uh, an inverter and then an appliance such as a coffee maker that took, say, 130 amps, then a decent lithium battery will allow that. You'll be able to take 130 amps out of a 100 amp hour battery. A not so good lithium battery will say, oh no, there's 130 amps. They want 130 amps to run that coffee machine. I'm not going to do it. And the battery will just shut down. The BMS will shut down. Um, and that is one of the differences between cheaper lithium batteries. Let's not say good or bad. There are cheaper ones. And it's often because the BMS itself is not as sophisticated, not as advanced, and in many cases, not as efficient. So there you have it. There is a BMS and lithium cells. So how about a situation where, for example, you wanted the hairdryer to run, or your missus wanted the hairdryer to run, that's going to take, uh, what, a thousand um, watts. watts, and... Minimum. I mean, yeah, most hairdryers, yeah, min 1,500, 1,800, 2 well, kilowatts. I said a thousand just in case we were going to get into any uh, mathematics, and that's a bit easier to calculate. So how would, the uh, using the inverter, how would the battery react do you think if it was a bad battery would well, it give... i'm not going to say bad battery I'm uh, say it wasn't so good one. it wasn't such a good Let, battery yeah uh well let's i would use 1200 as an example because yeah. 1200 divided by 12 oh volts. it's even easier sorry so That's it's even easier, easier. yeah yeah so if you had an it depends to an extent on the inverter mm -hmm. if you've got a an inverter that won't uh handle won't give out more than 1500 watts Mm -hmm. uh, which works out at about 125 amps or so. Uh, if you're running an 1800 watt hairdryer, mm -hmm. well, it just won't work, partly because of the inverter, but also you have taken into consideration the ability of the battery to supply that amount of energy to the inverter mm -hmm. to run the hairdryer. It's all very complicated, Alan. Yeah, it, it, it is. It, it, it is rather. But as we can see, this thing and here, this one over here is working. It's working beautifully. And uh, but it's 24 volts. It's 24 volts. Yeah. So you can do that. You can join two together. Again, it depends on the battery. Some batteries you can join together in series to make 24 volts. Some batteries you can join together in parallel to make. I uh, say so this, 200 probably amps. join four yeah. together, make 400 amp hours. Yeah. But not all lithium batteries, there are cheaper lithium batteries. That's another difference between expensive ones. Oh, let me not say expensive. Cheap ones and not so cheap ones. 
is that with the not so cheap ones you can't put so many together in series I mean in parallel in parallel as you can the more expensive ones so there's lots of difference people often say to me they say Andy they say oh why are some batteries more expensive than others and there are these little subtle reasons that often revolve around the BMS there's also the quality of the cells to take into consideration because there are a cell, B cell, C, D, E, grades of cell. And that's going to make a difference to the cost of the battery as well. So just be careful when you buy a lithium battery and don't automatically go for the cheapest because the cheapest is not, I can guarantee it, going to be the best. Yeah, well that's the same with everything. Same There's thing. a reason why it's cheaper. Exactly. It has to be cheap for a reason. Mm -hmm. And the reason is it doesn't cost so much to make. And the reason it doesn't cost so much to make is because the components don't cost so much to buy. And the reason they don't cost so much to buy is because they're not as good. It's simple really, isn't it? Yeah. And you can see we've got various sizes here. Oh yeah, and we've got 40 amps, 55, 80, 100, 150. And here we've got a great big chunky 200, 200 amp hour battery. I want one of them. Actually, I've already got one of them. You've got a 200 one? Well, I've got two 100s. Okay, parallel, right. Which obviously is 200. Yeah. And I spent a week last week in Wales, West Wales, on a campsite, no electric hookup. Mm -hmm. It rained every single day. The solar panel hardly worked at all, intermittently. And uh, yet, with 200 amp hours, I was still able to use the microwave on the induction hob, which I use for cooking. Don't use gas for cooking anymore, at all. Okay. Ah. And also, of course, the hairdryer, because naturally I was going out in the rain and my hair was getting all wet. Mm -hmm. So I had to kind of like, you know, make myself look nice. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. When I got back in. Yeah. Um, and 200 amp hours of lithium battery. <laughs> it's just like being at home. Except mm -hmm. I was in West Wales on this campsite with these sheep wandering about. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you want to see something else good? Yeah. Hey, step this way. Mm hmm. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. So, what we'll do is we'll put this on on a different film. But I'll tell you what we could do. We'll just keep the thing running so that people will know. Oh, there's another lithium. More lithium. More lithium. Yeah. Is, uh, there is actually a hairdryer here on um, the 12 volt hair dryer. I was going to come I, to that, I was going to show Oh you. yeah, I haven't actually been on the stand or anything. Okay, look. But, now look. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll do this in a separate film. How's that sound? Okay. All right, so do you want to say a few words to sum up? Right, sum up what? Lithium batteries. Oh yeah, lithium batteries are great. Right. But, as I say, don't be guided by the price be guided it's difficult because you don't know do you i mean how do you know how do you tell the batteries any good or not yeah i mean the, the the reality is the harsh reality is that if it is cheap it's not going to be as good as a more expensive one and when i say good it's not going to be able to to put out as much power as much energy mm -hmm. as a more expensive one yeah uh so it might have a limit of say 100 amps yeah. So if you're running a coffee maker, which needs, mine does, mine's a very basic coffee maker, mm -hmm. but it can go up to 140 amps. It can draw 140 amps. Mm -hmm. If I had one of these lower cost batteries, that would not be able, that would not work. Mm -hmm. I would not be able to run my coffee maker. Um, so you've got to take these things into consideration. And it's a complex subject, it's tricky, but just don't go for the cheapest, that's my advice. Otherwise, what you get time? what you pay for. Well, you just do get what you pay for, don't you? Yeah. Okay, great. So go. we'll go and see something else, and that will be in the next video. Exactly. Right, so we'll go and walk there right now. And here we are. And here we are. Right, so we'll do this in the next one.